It's here. The moment that everyone hasn't been waiting for. The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power Season 2 has begun. Boom, 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 boom. This bad boy dropped with three episodes right out of the gate. The first being over an hour long. And I watched 20 minutes of it. And then I shut it off. And then I collected myself and I said, you know what, Adam? No, we're not doing this again. We're not going down this rabbit hole. It's not worth the views. It's not worth the new subscribers. I just don't give a shit. And that's so sad because it's a freaking Lord of the Rings property. A fanfic, to be sure. But the Lord of the Rings regardless. Let's talk about it. Let me give you a little context, but if you do like the commentary, please subscribe, even though I'm, I'm not going to be destroying this season. This is a movie channel primarily. Occasionally, I will dip my toe into the TV shows. I went through and covered all of The Mandalorian Season 3, which was ass. I also covered The Acolyte, lovingly referred to as The Crapolite. We should pour one out for that show. That's gone. That's, that's completely dead. And it it kind of boggles my mind that The Rings of Power got a second season. But the point still stands. I put out movie content every single week and I would love to have you stick around. I don't look at myself as the all-knowing movie critic. It's just I'm some dude who talks about films and likes going to them, watching them, and then saying my piece. With that out of the way, let's talk Rings of Power. I put a poll out on my community tab a couple days ago asking if people wanted me to cover this show like I did with The Crapolite, where I basically watched every episode and then broke them down. And again, I did this same formula with The Mandalorian. The reason I covered these shows is number one, I love The Mandalorian season one and two. I was very worried when the book of Boba Fett came out and sucked ass and it kind of dragged down The Mandalorian with it. So season three, I, I went in a little scared, but still very hopeful. And immediately I was turned off by how bad the quality had gotten. And so that was reflected in these comedic retellings of the show. The same thing happened with The Acolyte. Obi-Wan Kenobi was awful. Hated that show front to back. It was just embarrassing. I didn't give a shit about Ahsoka. I didn't watch it. Not familiar with the character. And the show just didn't look very good. But with The Acolyte, focusing on the Jedi, telling a brand new story. You got freaking Trinity in there from The Matrix, Carrie Ann Moss. Yeah, I'm going to give this one a chance and watch. Plus, it was only a half hour long easily digestible content, which meant I could easily watch it and put out my thoughts on it, breaking down what happened. That was fun for me. And right out of the gates, the show wasn't that bad. I didn't think. I was like, okay, a little odd, the choices you're making, but I'm still on board enough. It's got a big budget. It has some characters that I think could be interesting. Obviously, that fell on its face by episode three. I approached the Rings of Power season two the same way. I put out a poll asking people ahead of time if they wanted me to watch and review it. It was pretty split all the way through. It did end up with more people wanting me to watch than not. So I did put it on. And it didn't take long, 20 minutes, for me to go, you know, no, I don't, I don't care to do this. This is not worth my time. Three episodes are already out. They, I think, are all over an hour long. I did not like season one. I didn't even finish the finale of season one because it got so terrible. So why would I subject myself to this? It's not even funny to make fun of. It's not funny for me to watch something that's just lame across the board and then make jokes and kind of recap it. The Acolyte was fun for me to watch because it moved quick. It had a lot of stupid stuff happening all the time that it was easy for me to gather my thoughts up and put together something that I could say to you. <laughs> Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power is a slow moving affair with a lot of moving parts and it's just a huge time suck. And I didn't think I was going to be able to present enough material that would be funny or engaging to cover the season. Because again, I, didn't, I don't have any passion for this show. With the other things I talked about, I at least had one foot in the door. There was a chance I could be like, okay, this is pretty cool. It's winning me over. Or I'm completely outside of it, but I'm already invested. So that makes it even more fun because I can just be pissed off along with others that are watching. Rings of Power lost me at the finale of season one. I didn't make it there. And so going into two, I just it kind of all came rushing back. I could see what they were doing with the show. 
they were going darker with it. They were going a little bit more mature with it right out of the gates. It's a lot more violent. It's darker looking. They're getting away from the Peter Jackson feel. At least that's the first impression it was leaving on me. The other reason I don't want to go down this rabbit hole is because there's a lot of other channels out there that do this and it's primarily all they do is bash on Hollywood big budget projects and that's fine. They make a lot of money, they get a lot of subs, good for them. I don't want to be a channel that's associated with just hating on things that are new. Like remember the good old days? Things were so much better before all this woke, DEI, blah blah blah, whatever the buzz term is for the week. That's not what I'm interested in. I don't want to be associated with that. I want to be known as a person that enjoys going to movies and chatting about them, either positively or negatively, but always honestly. And I really have no interest wasting the little bit of time I have on earth, rotting away watching some corporate garbage, and then complaining about how bad it is like I was forced to watch it. Obviously, I'll rag on films up and down the block if they suck. I just put out a couple that were not the nicest. But I want a healthy balance. That means picking out films that I know I'm gonna love and reviewing them. That means going after some of the smaller films that I'm hearing great things about and reviewing them. Whether or not I end up enjoying them, that's on me. And then I'll let you know what I thought and what you can expect. As far as the love I have for The Lord of the Rings is concerned, it pretty much begins and ends with Peter Jackson. I am a massive fan of the trilogy. I even love The Hobbits. Even though, yes, it should have been maybe one three hour film or two hour and a half films <laughs> instead of three four hour movies or whatever they ended up being. That's, I still like them. Either way, I still watch. I love what Peter Jackson did with Middle Earth. Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, Star Wars. These are some of those franchises that are just insanely iconic. There are so many characters and locations that were realized in an amazing way on the big screen and I will forever be thankful for it. This Amazon shit is a cosplay. If you enjoyed season one of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, I envy you. I really do. I wanted to love it. I was very generous with my first two video reviews. My wife and I really tried to get through this show. I thought some of the characters were kind of cool. Galadriel was fine. I thought the dwarves were the highlight. I thought the dude that played young Elrond was fantastic. He kind of reminded me of Neil Patrick Harris, NPH as an elf. That's a solid entry in my book. But it just didn't have enough story to sustain it. There was nothing very engaging happening. It was just a lot of slow turning of the wheels. It reeked of a show that knew it had a massive fan base and would do everything it could to milk out these little storylines they had so that they could go eight to 10 seasons comfortably without really having to go crazy with anything. I also just saw an article about Gandalf coming back for a new Lord of the Rings live action movie and they want to use the same actor. I'm a huge fan of Ian McKellen, but the dude was old as dirt in the Hobbit movies. He could barely talk at some points. He looked rough. So I really don't know how they're going to bring him back for another Lord of the Rings film that's probably a few years out even. And so it is, with a heavy heart, I let you go with the knowledge that no, I won't be covering this uh, shit show of a season. It's possible it could be better. I will say, again, I only watched 20 minutes. It was fine. It felt more Game of Thrones style than it did the Lord of the Rings. There was some weird stuff happening. It wasn't bad, I didn't think. It just, I'm out. I'm done with it. I don't have any interest in this, uh, this fanfic that they're writing. But I do think it's probably going to be better than season one, and they are going to move things a little faster. They acknowledged, after all the backlash, that season one was a chore to get through, and they're going to pick things up. So it's possible. Let me know in the comments if this season's really good so far after three episodes, if it's going somewhere interesting, or if it was wise of me to just say, no, I don't need to talk about this anymore. Just let it be its own thing. People can enjoy it if they want. I'm out. Leave a comment. Please like the video and think about subscribing. Again, I post movie stuff every week on the channel. A lot of it, as a matter of fact. Would love to have you stick around. I also have a second channel, Adam Does Rants, where I'm doing more comedic storytelling type of stuff. Really breaking down all the struggles of a middle class family man. If you love what I'm doing, Please think about becoming a patron at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. YouTube payout's embarrassingly bad for ad revenue. That's the place to really support me in the channel and say, hey, Adam, I love what you're doing. Here's a buck or two a month. You get access to a bunch of exclusive videos, and you're helping me out. I would appreciate it. All right. Hopefully I see you soon. Take care.